What's up, everybody? It's your boy Brandon with Bama Fitness, and today our special guest is Junior Lefebvre. Did I say your last name right, Sensei? Lefebvre Junior, yes. Lefebvre. Okay, awesome. Good. Awesome. Sensei, how are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking. Awesome. Awesome. So with, for everyone out there, would you be able to introduce yourself uh, to everyone and tell them exactly where you're from and everything? Okay, so uh, my name is Lefebvre Jr. I'm about uh, 40 years of age, 42 to be precisely. I'm coming from Belgium, but uh, for the country where I'm born, but I was also fighting for Croatia. I got also a, a Croatian passport and I was world champion um, for Croatia, for that country. Um, I was quite famous uh, in my karate career. Why? Because I was a very good technician, because I'm the only, only person that succeeds at a world level, European level, to uh, win the U21 Kata and Kumite um, the same year at European level. Uh, so I'm European champion Kata and Kumite uh, U21 and now the coach of the English karate national team. Awesome, awesome. What, what year was that, that you won both uh, Kumite and Kata? Oh, uh, I think it was 96 and 97. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a long time. Yeah, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> 96 and 97. That's, that's awesome though, because not a lot of people nowadays do Kata and Kumite at like the world yes. level like you do, and it's hard to win both. And I remember the same year I was European Kumite champion and I got third at the Open de Paris in Qatar. Oh, really? So, and the Open, uh, the Open de Paris is a, a senior main tournament mm -hmm. and being able to, on, to win even a, a third place over there was something really, really good. So, um, yes. Uh, I had my, my career was based actually to on, on doing quarry and not only kata or kumite. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why, what I, I share with my students also now. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I, I love kata. I used to be, a, uh, when I was younger, I used to always just do kumite. I did not like kata at all. Then when I got a little bit older, I had not I knew the importance of kata and how they played a big part with each other. So I became a kata person. I just wanted to do kata kata. And now I love both. And some tournaments I win both, Kata and Kumite champion. And but yeah, I I love Kata right now. I love it. What's your favorite Kata? That's my favorite Kata, Gankaku. Ganka, my and also another one that we don't see a lot, Niju Shiho. Niju Shiho. Oh, it's so short though. Yeah. Kata for competition. So I like the smooth part of the card. I like the continuity of it, that you are nonstop. So mm -hmm. I really like Niju Show. Even normally, Niju Show is more for female and kids mm -hmm. and not for men, I agree, but, but I like it. It's a good kata. It is a good kata. Now, going back uh, to when you started karate, what age did you start karate? I started uh, karate at the age of eight. At the age of eight. And what style was that? Uh, Shotokan. Actually, I did a lot of uh, martial arts sports like kendo, judo, aikido. Uh, to 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 make you understand is that I was a bullied person when I was in, in college mm -hmm. uh, at school um, because I'm, I'm, I'm father and mother are, are really from Belgium, but I went in a neighbor where I was actually in a, uh, with a lot of immigrants mm -hmm. and not that I have nothing with immigrants, but I was bullied by other kids that, that were in school. And even the teachers say to my father, oh, he needs to defend himself. Mm -hmm. So we went, we went to a quarry, um, a quarry school. And after a few, few months, they didn't bully it anymore. Really? So it was good. <laughs> you knew how to defend yourself. Uh, yeah, I could defend myself really properly. And my father, uh, uh, put me in a quad school, in a judo school, in a uh, in a kendo school, and after three months, he said, "You have to make a choice." Mm. And I say, "Oh, quad," and then he say, "All right," but my my father is a bit strange. But he say, "When you do something, you have to do it good." Mm -hmm. So you do that, 
tests and so and so on. Certainly, that I went to a quality competition, and that was the all national all national competition. And I say, I want to be like him. And he said to me, You really want to be like him? I say, Yeah. All right, but I I make that, mm -hmm. but don't cry after. I say, Okay, <laughs> no, no, I want to be. I want to be like oh. Maybe that that's maybe the best thing I say to my father, or the worst thing. I don't know. Sometimes the pain and uh, the pain I had after, because my father was really hard. Mm -hmm. When I tell you hard, poof. For him, missing one quality training was catastrophic. Mm. Now look at you. Look, look, you're but look how you turned out. Turned out amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks to him. That God bless him. Thanks to him, I am on the level I, I am now. Oh, I did succeed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. That, that, that's really good. Now, you said that you did kata and kumite. Um, did you do weapons as well, like uh, kabuto? No, that, that's something more. In, in Europe, we don't do weapons. It, it's more mm. something I saw when I was in Australia and, and the United States that people are doing weapons and they mm -hmm. said, what? Quality weapons for, for us that's two different uh, things. Or you, you do kobudo or you do kwari, mm -hmm. but it's not the same martial arts. Gotcha. But nice. I did I did love kendo actually. Kendo. Oh, I never did it. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's awesome. But I stopped kendo because your back your back heel has to go up all the time, mm. and for shotokan katas it was not good. Yeah. So I was. I had to make a choice or karate with good low stances or kendo with a back 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 foot that okay. was up all the time. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's tough. That could be uh, confusing at times <laughs> doing your kata and everything. You don't want that. You don't want that. So I can understand yeah. that. Yeah. So now uh, for everybody, do, do, do you have your own school right now? Yes, so um, I have a very popular school here in Belgium that is named Champions Club mm -hmm. that I, I built um, oh, how much time now? about 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Yes, so I have my own school, my own building. Um, at the start, I went a place and now I bought a place and I have my own. Uh, we have two dojos. Oh, so two dojos. And you said they were both in Belgium? Yeah, actually, it's in the same local, but okay. we have two dojos in the same local. Gotcha. Awesome. Now, I know you started, you said at the age of eight. If karate was not in the picture for you, what do you think you'll be doing now with yourself? Wow. Um, if karate would not be here, damn, I did. That's that's a damn question for me. <laughs> uh, because then, so, you know, people like us, where everything was is based around karate, karate. You, yeah. remove, you remove that, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. It's, Be, it's hard. because you know that the, you know when, when I was a kid, went out of school at four, then I went to karate. Mm -hmm. Come back eat and sleep that was that that was it mm -hmm. so if you remove quality from the picture i don't know i was studying maybe a little bit more mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe doing like something like a counter or something like that okay but that's all because i yeah. like math nice nice awesome see i bet a lot of people didn't know but that about you that you would want to be something and like an accountant yeah. or something so yeah, because you know, uh, I studied for a counter. I didn't finish it really. Mm -hmm. the, the the I did the first year of university, but because uh, I was so successful in my karate career, I, I I took the the engagement of okay, I do first sport. If I don't succeed in sport, I will continue my study as mm -hmm. an accountant. Uh, I succeed. Lucky for me, I succeed in it. And because I didn't want to place everything about in sport, because mm -hmm. I know that if you got injured. You are, you are, I don't know, a sport teacher and a karate man. If mm -hmm. your leg is broken, everything is broken. I mean, yeah. you can you can do your job properly and you can do your your hobby or your sport properly. 
Um, so I want to do something as completely different from sport. Gotcha. Understood that. Uh, yes, so that's why I counter. I know, I know you did so many tournaments back um, before. If you had to choose one tournament that was like your biggest accomplishment, that uh, which tournament would that have been? Which championship would be the one that is best for me? Um, of course, I can I cannot deny that the, you know the world champ the, the my senior world championship is is something that you know you always remember because that's the the final accomplishment of all your work, mm -hmm. and that and that I did it one well and everything. But I also like I really like the championship that is not well known maybe for you guys, but we call it Open the Wascal. That is a championship that is in France, mm -hmm. and always one week after the Open de Paris. Okay. And I like that championship because, because uh, the categories were uh, were joint categories. It was minus sixty eight, minus seventy eight, plus seventy eight, mm -hmm. and you could you could meet champions from other divisions, and then meet them at that championship. And a lot of people that when doing the Open de Paris. They did that championship because we we could win money in a certain okay. way, even more than at the Open de Paris. So there was like cash rewards for mm -hmm. the winners. Awesome. Uh, and I, I I I remember every time I did it, I I love the atmosphere in it. I hated example the Open de Paris. I don't know why. <laughs> even I was successful. I hate the Open de Paris. I don't like. You know, mm -hmm. the, the judo mass that were there at the time and stuff like okay. that. And I liked the championship that was just after okay. the Open the Wascal. And I could, I, I did fight with a lot of champions that were there and very mm -hmm. good atmosphere, uh, good championship, good organization. Yeah, that was good. Awesome. Do they still have that tournament like a week after the Open? Uh, no, no, not anymore. Uh, because they don't have the support anymore from from the um, from the city. So you're not competing anymore, correct? Oof. No, I, I've stopped really early in the same way. I've stopped in 2003. Okay. Now, would you ever come back to compete? But you you know what? Uh, few years ago, I did the national championship. Really? I really did it. So it was a joke. <laughs> really a joke but i like you know i'm in my club and i'm mm -hmm. i'm putting on uh, on the paper the names of all the participants for the next national championship and as a joke i say oh if we reach for the inscriptions i will do it with you guys and i don't know why all the kids and uh, they they talk to each other and we had more than 50 inscriptions and they say sensei Sign to up. do it now, <laughs> and I was like, uh, "No, sensei, you you told us, okay." And I went after, so I've stopped competing. I've stopped competing in two thousand three for the last time, and I think it was in two thousand eighteen. So after fifteen years not competing, mm -hmm. I've competed again. Awesome. And putting the shin protector because in my time no shin protectors, mm -hmm. no foot protectors, no body protector. Yeah. And I, I was them. What is that damn armor on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do not like that. I do not. Uh, like the, uh, after a certain time, you you get you get you, you get used to the foot protectors and the body protector, but mm -hmm. I hate the shin ones. The yeah. shin protectors, I hate it. No. Now, did you want the kumite? Did you do kata as well, or was it only kumite? I did only kumite on that time. Okay. Nice, nice. Now, do you think that, as a joke or any, or that you'll come back out again and compete like one last time, or no? You're just finished. You're over it. No, I get it too old, mate. <laughs> because yeah, it depends the countries. 
you you have some some example in Spain. You have championships and in France championship for for all the ones like mm -hmm. plus forty, plus fifty, plus sixty. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe in those ones, why not? Okay. Yeah, that would be cool. So you work with uh, well on your YouTube videos, um, and like your Instagram. A lot of people see you work with a lot of these like world champions and and whatnot. Um, can you name a few that you've worked with? Yeah. Um, so the most popular one, of course, is Rafael that was staying with me to prepare some world championships and that stays uh, in my home for quite a long time. But I have um, some students of me like uh, George Sanos, mm -hmm. um, Timothy Peterson, a, a Belgium student uh, that maybe a few of you uh, know is Diego van der Schrik, that was European champion minus 75, vice world champion minus 75, was beat by Rafael, uh, a Belgium African boy that did compete for Belgium and uh, his original country, Congo. Mm -hmm. Now he's one, one coach in China. He's coach in China, in the region in China. Oh, wow. After my, my, my period of competitor, you know, what I liked was the challenges. So what did I do first? I, I, I built my own club. I, uh, I went with some other national teams and, you know, invite the team, work with them and then see uh, the they improvements. Uh, teams like uh, Australia, Belarusia, the last um, Venezuela and Mexico. Mm -hmm. Uh, example, the last Pan American Games, uh, I was con I was coaching uh, Mexican athletes, mm -hmm. and we did really really well, uh, as they had I don't know seven or eight medals at, at the Pan Am Games, uh, thanks to the work we did, mm -hmm. and and now the last challenge I'm taking was uh, the English national squad, and I. Already with my first year, we succeed to have two European champions in the U21. Mm -hmm. So that was really good because, you know, UK, England is, is like big, big yeah. name as a country. But they went down and, 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 and yes, only Jordan. Jordan was, was good, but no, no medals anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was years that they, they didn't have any medal. And I went and, you know... I made a change for them, so it's good. That's awesome. <clears throat> Looking back then in the day, um, the UK team used to be strong. They used to they used oh. to have a lot of good competitors. Oh yes, I think that for me that was like the wow country. Oh, you, know? mm -hmm. uh, you see Wayne, Thomas, yeah. uh, Jan Cole. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, Jan um, uh, McKay, oh, the, the, so many, like Spain, for, for me, Spain, mm -hmm. Spain and UK was, the, and France, they were the three countries, like the wow countries. Yeah, yeah, like. You could see the, those clashes between, between the Equipe de France and, and the, the English team, that was, that was so, so nice to see. Mm -hmm. Is there someone that you haven't worked with that you're like, wow, this person is really good. I would like to train that person. Um, I don't like at all, like in the world. Well, there are a lot of, you know, now the, 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 see that the, the point that we see, there are a lot of good competitors, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of competitors that are physic really, uh, physically really, really strong and, uh, and they are really top athletes, but some of them you 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 think okay maybe I I could give him you know the bit the little bit that he's missing to uh, to maybe get get the dream of the world championship or or, or the Olympic game. Mm -hmm. um, I was working with um, lately with uh, Japan you know two two years ago, and when I saw athletes like Araga example, I was wow. That that boy has so such an impressive boy, mm -hmm. but I was working with him and I was thinking, damn, if I could train him for three four months nonstop before going to the to the tournament, maybe that could make the difference. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, 
it's it is like it is now they have a very good team and he's really really good mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah we see awesome now <clears throat> before what other organizations did you compete in were you ever like jka jks or anything so yeah um so i'm traditionally uh, from the kaze branch so Sensei Kaze is like someone that was that came from GK. Okay. So I went, I went with uh, so it's WSK uh, Kaze organization, but I did compete with GK. So um, why? Because you know the WKF only allows um, in the senior category people more than eighteen. Mm -hmm. In the GKA organization, you are senior at the age of 16. Mm -hmm. So I went to the GKA just for experience and to be able to, to compete in senior category before the age of 18. Mm -hmm. Because I was quite tall for, I was 14. And my father and myself, we did cheat a little bit in our inscription <laughs> paper. Mm -hmm. And when I was 14, uh, we say I was 15. Mm. So I could compete seniors when I was 15. Oh, nice. Nice. And how did and you I was a uh, European champion and I, I won the, I don't know, some World Cups, you know, combined World Cups, Kata Kumite in that time. So that was really good. They call it, I think, Nakayama Cup or something like that. Okay. Awesome. That's, that's, that's awesome. But, that's really but good. That was different. And also the fact that you, you had to fight without glove mm -hmm. was a bit different. Yeah. But so good. That, that was more <clears throat> like Ipon, yeah? Yes, Ipon Chobu rules, yes. Yeah, I love, I love Ipon. I fight him. Like you said before, like the, just the, all the stuff that you have to wear. I feel like I'm going to war, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, when I used to go... I don't think they have it anymore. Um, what was that organization called? Federation. I forgot what it was called. But I used to always fight Ipon. I used to love it because it was just bare fists, you know, like and just a mouthpiece. And you just go and go and at it, you know? And yeah, instead of just that little, uh, you have to go through and like connect. And I love that. I love yeah. that. I love that rawness, you know? Yeah. Generally, we like, we like it when we win. Yeah. We hate it when we when you are the one that it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, lesson learned though. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Uh, yeah. So all right. So uh who inspires you? Um someone that became after my one of my sensei, actually. Uh his name is Jose Manuel Ejea Caceres. Mm. He was a three-time world champion. Mm -hmm. And he's coming so from Spain. Uh, you know, that guy for me was like God. Really? Yes, really, really, really good. And I remember I had the chance to meet him in a in a camp in Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were so because he was damn good. Yo, know, he was so good. Just retired from competition, so he was good. Mm -hmm. And I remember in that that camp, he was choosing someone. And he was hitting the people and people were had pain. So when they had to attack him, they were all afraid. Yeah. And so he was unhappy because people people didn't didn't give him the you know the response that he wanted. He wants someone tough. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping he would choose me. I was like, please choose me, please choose me. And on a certain moment, God said, You come with me. And I hit him so hard. I hit him. In <laughs> I remember he'd say do gaku mm -hmm. and he didn't block anything so he, you you could hear the chest impact uh -huh. all over the place and everyone like that wow uh -oh. like you see it he, he punched him he punched him look the reaction and it was war really? like war uh -huh. but he came to the training out the after the training with a big smile and say you are good mm -hmm. I want you to follow me in the in the sessions. Can you? Uh, and we 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 became bit by bit friend, like a relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, he's the guy that really inspired me. And 
oh, I've learned so many, so many good things because I went to, to his class in, um, in Spain, in Madrid. And you know, Madrid is a place where you have a lot of dojos, but not a lot of space. So he was like the big champion mm -hmm. and had a small place, like small tatami area, mm -hmm. hacked dojo. And the first time I went, he said, okay, Junior, you can, you can train, but you have to do private classes, boxing classes, Taibo classes. Uh, I don't know how many classes I did every day. I think I had to move eight hours a day. Wow. And he said, you have to do with me, with my brother. And they, they killed me. You know, really, they killed me. They punched me. Poor child. I came back to Belgium after one week. My father said, are you sick, son? I said, no, I just, no, but are you sick? Because you, you look like, no, no, it's okay. And the next time I went to Spain, he Look at me and say, "Oh, you back? Okay, <laughs> now we are we are doing karate." Uh -huh. Actually, the first time it was like a test if I could follow. Uh -huh. And he said to me, "You know, you are not the first one that asked me for training, but so I have to do something like that just to see if they are worth it. That's all." Mm -hmm. And um, so after I was part of the group. Nice. That's really cool. That's really good. Yeah. But, uh, oh, I have stories like that. Really nice. Do you do that to some of your students? Oh, you want to train with me? Okay, do this. No. I have a big, I have a huge dojo, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, on a daily, what keeps you motivated? Um, simple things in the same way. And you know what? Not competitors. Mm -hmm. Because with the time, of course, I, lo I love competition. I'm the national coach of England. If... If I don't like competition, I would not uh, be in that position. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the fact that I can I can help people with to improve, but I like the smile of some kids that I teach, mm -hmm. and that then they hug me and say, and oh, some of them nearly call me daddy. Really, you are you are my quality daddy. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me really satisfied. No, oh. that's also like that's a great feeling, you know. Those, especially those when those kids look up to you, and you know you have that impact on them. It's a great feeling. Yes. It's good. It's good. How often do you work out? Not enough. No. <laughs> when you do work out, what do you do? So, point is that I'm teaching so much that. I try to do a, a minimum of physical activity during the class, mm -hmm. uh, during my own classes. So that's why I could, I can stay quite fit. And you can see the videos. I'm, uh, I'm okay now for my age and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I had um, after my Mexican experience, I had L L four L four L five. Uh, I had a problem on my back. I had, I needed an operation. Mm -hmm. So I gained a little bit of weight and now I'm, I'm working bit by bit to come back in a, a more fit environment, but training myself, I'm not doing it enough. I don't have the chance to have the time to, you know, do a one like I want mm -hmm. because I don't know. So it's always the, the the person that say you have to do this that don't do it himself yeah so i always. say to every one of my kids you have to go for a word minimum twice a week slowly da, da, and i don't do it mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yeah. so sometimes i'm a bit shamed but yeah it yeah. is like it is you, you always have something to to do my daughter my wife my my house my dojo, problem there, problem there, federation, politics. Mm. Oh, damn, politics. So much, so much politics. I, oh, I do not like them. Crazy. Yeah. So much. So is your family into karate as well? Yes, lucky for me, I, uh, my, my wife is working with me with the dojo. So it's, uh, it's good. Uh, my wife, I met my wife with karate in a sad way. I met her in Chile. Mm. So I went over there, flew to Chile for, to make a, a karate class. Mm -hmm. And the week after I was married. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's super fast. That's amazing so, though. 
That's the most fast decision that I ever take. Yeah. And the best decision that you did. But that's the best one. Yeah. You know, in karate, I always say the karate, the best actions is the one that you don't know how you did it. Mm -hmm. And the best action in my life, like my marriage, is the action I don't know how I did it. Wow. Because yeah. I went over there, you know, I was famous world mm -hmm. champion, but I went to Chile anyway, and I, I remember saying to my to my future wife, oh, you don't want to, to go to Belgium, you know, to, so that we can meet. And she looked straight in my eyes and say, I'm not going out of the country without being married. Mm. And I was like, what? And I thought, and I said, damn, if she's like that, that means she's straight. Mm -hmm. And me as a quiet person, I like things that are straight. Yeah. So the next day I say, you know what? I marry you. And I call my dad and I say, dad, tomorrow I'm married. And first he went, what? And, uh, and worst of all is that I get married. Mm -hmm. And the day after my marriage, I call my father and say, dad, I don't know if I did a mistake or not. <laughs> and he say, why that? Actually, I'm married someone I don't know. Because mm. I don't know what she eats. I don't know what movie she likes. Mm -hmm. And I don't speak Spanish. Uh. Because I could not speak Spanish at that time. Mm -hmm. And so I married her. And I could not speak to her properly. Uh. So her English? Her English? But, was that. No. no, no, no. We struggled. Sign movement <laughs> and, and this like that. It's amazing, though. It's a good, it's a good feeling, though. Uh. Yeah. And you know, I remember the after we came back to Belgium or flew back to Belgium. Oh, the first person she met was my teacher, was Sensei Ehea. So mm -hmm. I went to first Madrid. I say, that's my wife, to my mm -hmm. sensei before I went back to Belgium to my father. Mm -hmm. And came back to came back to Belgium. You know, I had a, a little studio, a man's studio, mm -hmm. uh, desordinated yeah. with a lot of stuff from my past. And I could see the face of my wife say, we need to clean all this. Mm -hmm. Get all this the out picture of, here. of Get your ex-girlfriends. Yep. All the pictures of your ex-girlfriends. What do I do with this? And say, oh, we better burn it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah. awesome. That's, that's, and that's... If, you, if, you have a Latin, if you have a Latin girlfriend, you understand me, mate. Yes, yes. Because Latin... <sighs> That's fire. Yes. Uh huh. No problemas. No problemas. <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> now, how long have you been married for? Uh, this year would be 15. 15 years. That's a long time. The best time, man. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. How old is your daughter? Uh, my daughter is 12. 12. What, what rank is she? Um, I mean, you mean belt? Yes. She's second Q. Seven Q. Okay. What rank are you, Sensei? What degree? I'm six down. Six down. When are you gonna plan to go for your uh, seventh down? Um, the the here in Belgium to apply for the seventh down, you need to uh, give to the federation. Uh, it's actually the federation that that gives you the seven then depending on what you did for the federation, blah blah blah, and mm -hmm. and so so on. And I don't think they will. They will do something for me. <laughs> uh, you'll just stick with what you have right now. Yes. Awesome. So when you, uh, when you do work out, uh, when you're training, what do you listen to? I mean, uh, music, you mean? M music wise. Yeah. Uh, reggaeton. Reggaeton. Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Latino, mate. yeah, man. J Balvin and all that. That's good. What is your favorite place to travel to? Um, the favorite place, actually, I, I did like really well Mexico mm -hmm. because you know I went to few lot of places. I went a lot of places, and a lot of places are really beautiful everywhere in the world. 
uh, going from South Africa to Thailand to uh, to United States, mm -hmm. uh, Canada, really nice Canada to to see. A bit too cold for me, but yeah. I hate cold. Yeah, same. Uh, even I'm coming from Belgium, mm. but I think Mexico got that good balance between a bit the American ID, you know the. The fact that you can do a bit what you want when you mm -hmm. want and stuff like that, and and the the part that is they have a lot of different places that are uh, you could you can have the the sea you can have uh, uh, mountains or you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, really really nice mm -hmm. uh, when you speak the language people are really. Uh, 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 really receptive to you. Mm -hmm. I like the mentality, of course. So yes, I think Mexico. Little quick questions. So, what is your favorite dessert? Okay, dessert. Um, ice creams. Uh, calisthenics or weight training? Weight training. Favorite fruit? Fruit. Mango. Favorite vegetable? Um. Spinach. Running outside or running on the treadmill? Uh, outside. If you can work out with anyone in the world, even if they're dead or alive, who would you work out with? Hmm. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that would be that would be an intense workout. That would be Ooh. good. Yeah. That's awesome. So if people wanted to contact you, um, do you have Instagram or like Facebook or anything that they can yeah, contact? So, um, I, I'm a bit more active on Facebook, but I have the Instagram where you contact me uh, like that. So mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, I tried the TikTok, but pff, not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my yeah. mate there now. So Instagram, Facebook is enough already. All right. What's your name on Instagram and Facebook? Uh, Facebook is my Lefebvre Junior, and I think Instagram also. Is that not the what? No, I think on Instagram is also it's the same. Lefebvre I think Junior. it's the same. Yeah. Yes. I think it's the same. I, I'm gonna on put Facebook. I'm gonna put the link. I'm gonna put everything down here. So. Yeah. The Lefebvre, junior Lefebvre or Lefebvre Junior? I don't remember. I know that uh, on on Facebook I have few one few few different ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the normal one, the favorite junior, the favorite junior beta, and so on. But the main one is the one that I'm looking most. Okay. So if people want to contact me, the favorite junior. Awesome. And are you training individuals on Zoom or anything, or no? Yes, uh, I, I, I'm doing both. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So you heard it, guys. If you guys want to contact the mm -hmm. favorite junior, please contact him on Instagram or on Facebook. Sensei, thank you. I appreciate you talking with me and being on the Get to Know Me series that I have here on YouTube. I appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you a lot. Thanks for for the channel, so that people can you know can meet uh, senseis, champions uh, in day in the normal life. And thank you for the channel, so that people can see how how are the senseis in another way. Oh, thank you for that. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching Get to Know Me series. If you have any questions with For Sensei, please contact him. All his information will be in the description below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and comment on this page. We'll talk to you later. Sensei, again, thank you. Peace.